Now you guys probably have no idea, but you guys, or at least some of you guys, came in clutch harder than I've ever seen anybody come in clutch before. Okay, now let me explain. You see, a few days after I paid full price for my iRacing subscription, they decided to run a 75% off promotion. Bruh. Not expecting much, I plugged my iRacing referral link in the last video of this series, and you guys got me more than $500 in iRacing credits. And I already spent a few of them on a few tracks and cars that I wanted to try out. So, first of all, a massive shout out to every single one of you guys. And as promised, here are all of your names. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but when I'm editing this, I'll figure it out. And your names should be on screen. And that probably took like an hour to put everybody's name, so appreciate it while it's there. Okay, well now that we're back, I know it's been... It's been a few weeks since I've made the last iRacing video, and I swear, and I swear that I have done a grand total of zero races since then. We are exactly where we left off. But actually, before I get on to the next race, I should talk about a few upgrades that have been made to the setup. But hold on, it's actually really dark in here, so let's see if I can get a little bit more light. Well, it still kind of looks the same, so whatever. So here I spent like a solid 3 minutes rambling about my new upgrades. Essentially, I upgraded to the 49 inch Odyssey G9 because the stars aligned and I got the chance to pick one up, and I also upgraded my PC case for better airflow. I'm not sure why I'm talking about all of this, but without further ado, I think it's finally time to get on the sim and continue this iRacing journey. Now, if you guys have been watching the previous two episodes, you would know that, well, let me just, let me show you real quick. So so this was the first race. Okay. Um, and this was the second race. Okay. So needless to say, before I actually get into a race again, I actually need to practice how to do the starts. Because I have no idea what actually happened here, and a few of you guys commented telling me what I need to do. So I'm going to do a little bit of practice, and then I'm going to jump on track and do my third ever race. Alright, let's do it. For some reason, I again went on another long rant here. Essentially, since I had school the next day, I was going to practice for the rest of the night and do the actual race the next day when I came back from school. So essentially, after screwing up two races, it was finally time to sit down and practice how to do the starts. What a lot of you guys claimed the problem was last time was that I was starting from neutral, I would shift to first and I would go, um, but that would never actually work. So apparently what I'm supposed to do is start in first, push in the clutch, and then dump the clutch and go full throttle as soon as the lights turn green. I mean, that's only what I understood. So in practice, it's going to look something like this. So clutch in, full throttle, dump the clutch, and I think I dumped the clutch too early. But you get the point. I'm not sure why I'm telling you this. For some reason, if any of you guys wanted to know, now you know. And if you didn't want to know and you're still watching, thanks for watching. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna practice this. I'm also gonna do a few practice laps and I'm actually just gonna race tomorrow when I get back from school. See you tomorrow. The semester started. If you haven't noticed, that's why content has been a little slow recently. All right, so it's been about two days later. I had my first day of school yesterday and I came back and I was so tired. The last thing I wanted to do was anything but just go to bed. Anyway, so I have classes at two and before I leave, I do plan on doing the race. But before I jump into the sim, um, the giveaway, the giveaway I was doing for the Moza CS wheel, it's over and it's time to choose a winner. So it ended a day ago and now it's time to choose a winner. I guess I'll do it on camera so you guys can see who actually won, if that makes sense. Um, I guess I need to go to winners, draw winners. So I am only drawing one winner just because I'm only giving away one thing. That being said, I am also doing another giveaway this month which I haven't yet decided what it's gonna be, but it will be up soon, so stay tuned for that. So one winner will be picked out of 4,171 potential users that can win. Um, and let's go. All right, so I'm gonna blur this out so you guys don't have his email, but the winner is named Callum, and Callum is from a city, which I'm gonna blur out as well, in the United Kingdom. So congratulations, Callum. I will be reaching out to you via email. Um, and I'll figure out shipping. So just bear with me because I have stuff to do. <laughs> but yes, you will have that. Um, all right, now, now to iRacing. 
connecting to iris <laughs> good news and bad news um the bad news is that i practiced yesterday or i guess the day before yesterday and i practiced on a completely different track wow. the good news is that i do know laguna seca but that sucks because i really like the track i practiced on this. anyway enough stalling it's time for the race After only doing three total laps, I managed to qualify second, and I knew I couldn't mess this up. Finally, a good start allowed me to get slightly ahead, however not having the inside line prevented me from getting the lead off turn 1. That being said, I knew the chase was on. Midway through the first lap, the pressure was definitely on. First place was only a second away and the rest of the grid was on my tail. As the laps progressed, however, myself along with the driver up in first started to build a gap and it was just a matter of remaining consistent to finish with a solid result. Something which, well, I didn't do. You see, as the driver behind started to gain more and more pace, I did quite the opposite. And before I knew it, he dived up the inside with three laps remaining and took second place. This time though, I knew I wouldn't let that slide. Me personally. I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. I put my tryhard pants on and I remained on his tail for the next few laps. This constant fighting resulted in both of us losing a ton of time, and a lap before the checkered flag, the entire midfield had caught up to us, and now the race was truly on. Two laps remaining and I find myself outside of the podium positions, hoping for nothing short of a miracle. Two left to go, two to go, keep to the right, keep to the right, you're on the left. Now everyone was feeling the pressure, a total of around 7 cars all had a decent shot at the podium and everyone wanted it equally as bad. Now, if you know anything about motorsport, you would know that this is the prime recipe for disaster. Miraculously, I survived and I found myself one lap away from my first ever iRacing podium. But if this race hadn't had enough plot twists, the final one was yet to come. As dumb as it sounds, I accidentally cut like a fraction of the track and I was given a slow down penalty. Now unfortunately, the screen recording didn't capture the amount of time I needed to give back, but I was literally 0.1 seconds away from serving my slow down penalty when I heard this. They're showing us the black flag. They say you cut the course. They're gonna hold you for a while. <laughs> A lap later, the race had finished, and even though I crossed the line third, the fact that I didn't slow down for a fraction of a second more resulted in me being disqualified from the race altogether. Pain. All I know is pain. <laughs> uh, it stings so bad because that was such a good race, and I feel like I maintained it as clean as I could for all of those 10 laps or however long it was just for <laughs> like I don't even know why it was like one millisecond off from where I was supposed to stop I don't know my safety rating wasn't affected so I guess that's a positive but um I feel like I had a ton of potential to 
substantially increase my both my safety rating and my driver rating so it sucks but you know it is what it is now it's time to time to go to school so i'll see you guys in the next video but real quick before i go note that this month i'm giving away a usb handbrake to a lucky winner anywhere in the world make sure to like the video comment subscribe and click the link at the top of the video description to enter and with all that being said thank you all for watching stay safe and have a fantastic rest of your day